Hello there, I'm Aldro Hill, and welcome back to some EU form on Goldie again, the Great Khan Achievement. It's 27th of August, 1455. We're balancing our aggression quite well. I think we're growing very nicely. We are a bit over our force limit, but that's okay. As soon as we've got this, we're just going to take as many territories from Yerin as we can. Consolidate due to our rebels. You know what? I should have just fought the rebels. I should have just fought them instead of having to increase autonomy. Then either attack Hexi or the Oirat. See how that goes. Um, see which one I prefer, really. Because I prefer if, like, Hexi's ally... Ashikawa was involved in something. That won't happen for a little while, though. But we'll see. Annoyingly, they're trying to siege me down. An army career. The growth of our professional army. New career opportunities abound for those of our ability and ambition. The old nobles still expect to be rewarded with those valuable commissions. Some of our higher officials are now employing us to open... Hmm. More opportunities for able men to rise in the ranks. <laughs> Safeguard the army tradition, gain 15 army tradition, or gain army professionalism and army tradition. So I haven't really been looking at army tradition so far. I'm um, professional, sorry. I have literally zero, um, which is terrible. But as you go up, it gets really good. You get supply depots, which is 20%, um, quite good. Also, armies are just better with professionalism. Uh, you get refill garrison, which is a bit crap, at 40%. At 60, you get regain manpower and disbanding, which is very efficient. And then in... 80, reduce morale damage taken by reserve, which is stupid strong, and then finally 100% and get general cost and army drill gain modifier, which basically just means armies drill like crazy and get super strong, allowing you to just rampage through armies. Um, I would like to try and get some of that, because it just increases my shock and fire damage in general. So, uh, my army tradition is really shit low anyway, so let's just get rid of it. Boop. Look at that, 2.5. We are losing money, unfortunately. This really needs to... To switch over, please. War exhaustion is a bit of a problem, but that's okay. Are there any more claims? No. Good, good, good. So let's go back to... Oh, no, we're going to peace out in a second anyway. Alright, there it is. So, what can we take? If I took every single bloody nation kind of place in this world, I get really, really strong, but also no one seems to give a shit. Jesus. Literally no one cares. Wow, no one cares, do they? I mean, there is this fort here, which is quite nice, but... Honestly, it doesn't really look like anyone cares. So I could take quite a large amount of territory for myself. Uh, there's nothing decent in terms of trade goods. I don't want to take too much, and I would like to still be able to beat them up and ragdoll them a little bit. Like, look at that. So I could actually take that and still get an end rivalry. Which would be insane. Or I could do that and get war reps. I think I'm going to do that instead because the continuous income could be better. So I get a nice big pile of cash to piggy off them. I get a decent amount of provinces and I get an end rivalry. Uh, Jin Zhao. Um, yes, I do want to do that because otherwise Korchin will rival... No! Otherwise Korchin will rival them. They will remove Hexi as their rival instead. Because otherwise Jin, uh, Ch Chin will, Jin Zhao will ally them or something. Which won't be great for me. Um, and then we will get war reps and cash. Delightful. That makes us insanely strong. Just really, really strong. We can also embrace um, feudalism, which is really nice. For 98 ducats. Du ducats? When is it? When, what, can I do it now? Or how will that be happened? 1464. I mean, it does make sense to kind of do it now-ish. I mean, I get leaders of our upkeep. Let's get feudalism. Oop. Awesome. The map ourselves need to recover. Convert to Tengri. No. We need to recover from wars. War exhaustion less than one and, and get unrest reduction. Happy to do so. Okay, cool. Uh, we do have some too few rivals, so we can now get... Ooh. Might as well still rival Yerin. And next up, we'll rival Hexi. Now, Hexi are definitely available to be beaten into a gentle pulp. Which is very, very good for us. Hmm. Our truce with these guys ends in 59. Yes, yes, yes. Da, 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 da. We're definitely going to get some rebels soon, and tribes want more land. Of course they do. Don't do they ever not want land? Seriously. I'm going to try and give them some shit land. Why can't I raise this? Most developments do though. 
I could raise that and get Horde Unity. But I... Mm, the power is very tasty, to be honest. Oh, there it is. Delightful. Okay, so we're going to give them some of this shit tier land. Once the hookers, the hordes are a little bit pissed off, it seems. All right. Well, let's start getting some claims onto Hexy. If you could get a couple claims there and expand to the south. I'm a bit concerned about our rate of expansion because it is very, very high. And that's troubling, but we are really strong. So that's not less troubling. House of Shipad, Heavlasting Pressure, 321 Air, Ligden. Now nah, he's going to be called Genghis. Yeah, he is. Ooh, look at that. 633 air. Love it. Alright. Oh my, not air, but wife. But the air is not great, but that's okay. These things happen. Temporary insanity of the monarch. Average attack very strange the last couple of months. It seems he's suffering from a temporary crisis of insanity. Well, that does sound like me. Result left very efficient guidance. Request military guidance and lose prestige and duplicates but gain tradition. Or lose or gain admin power. I would like the uh, admin power, please. Because that way I can core some stuff. All right. Got some more provinces we can claim onto these guys. So these are actually permanent. These are actually core provinces over here. So I think we should definitely conquer these guys sooner rather than later. Because we have a lot of our actual core provinces to increase our strength. Oirit, I think, is fine. Like, they're going to lose provinces to Shagtai, but they're not going to lose these. So I think we should wait. I think we should focus on, on Korchin. And Hexy. When's this truce up? So it's 59. So I could actually do Hexy pretty much right now. As soon as I have this claim. Beat them and then go to Jurchin. Uh, Korchin even. Which would mean I expand at a very good rate. This truce is up uh, in 71. That's no big deal at all. And then I can start... And then once I have all of this... I can start to expand to the south. Ooh. An alliance offer from Caution. Abso bloody not. Absolutely not. And I wish I'd gone admin focus now, considering the sheer amount of admin stuff I have to deal with. An alliance offer from Caradel. Once again, bugger off, please. Considering an alliance offer um, from Korea, but no. We're going to want to start to expand towards Korea soon. All right. There is actually no more claims to take here. So when's this guy... When can I kill you? 66. Meh. And 71. Meh. So let's start getting claims on you guys. And I'm going to be fighting some rebels relatively soon in Yeren Separatists. 1.7 years. 14k. So Yeren Separatists are going to be here. Where's the highest dev province? They should be in Hilimbabo. And it has a river, so we're probably going to want to keep our troops in Udi. Because that's where the... Yeah, it's probably going to fire here. It's fine. I think we're going to want to wait for the rebels to fire first. I think that's going to be a good idea. Uh, we're going to have 14,000 men to take care of their 14,000 men. We should be all right. Profiteering in Dorogonov. The citizens have grown tired of the local influence of gritty Orit merchants. They claim we're using unfair advantages to compete local businesses. Okay, so Orit will hate us, or hate us, but we get local protectionism. Or well, competition is good for everybody. Yeah, man. Good power for everyone. Once this is at 70%, I will start to increase uh, maintenance. Also, with a war enthusiast, war exhaustion is going to go down soon. Oh, seventy percent. But actually, it's going to go down actually a little bit more. Yeah, we're going to want to stand in the mountains. Come on, go to eighty. Go to eighty. Hey, right. this bad boy all the way up. Guys are all pissed off. 
Ah, oh, national unrest. Damn, I don't want national unrest reduction. Rival of our rival, Korea. No. I'd actually quite like them to be upset. Ah, uh, it's going to be a year. Hey, there we go. We've got to kill those before we can really do anything else of our lives. It's going to be kind of annoying. It's going to slow down our rate of expansion. There it is. Alright, 1st of April and 23rd of March. Oh, shit. It's a 3-3-1 general. That's not good. We're actually literally just about to get a better job. Let's get a let's get a better one anyway. Uh, da -da -da, army officialism, Tejun. Oops. A one one. Oh goody! You're terrible. That was not worth my time. Da -da -da. One more day. Let's see what happens, shall we? Wait, it's about Bailiff. Uh, lose the prestige. We won! But we lost several thousand men! Yay! Yay! Alright, um, 59. Let's, let's let some of these guys replenish, and then we'll attack Korchin. Because we kind of need to fight them before they get any other allies. So, we got this guy, Jin Zhao. Getting some of those claims. Nice. Ixi, don't have any more claims for us, but there's lots of cores. Let's go. Oh, shit. The tribes are upset. I really want to give that to you. That's way too valuable. Six, eight, six, perfect. Here we are. We could contribute warriors, but their loyalty is not 50% or greater. How many men does Korchin currently own? We'll take a look. We are technologically superior to them, however. We have now, they also only have 9,000. I think we're going to be fine. We have a couple years with which to expand. We're really growing powerful. Alright, there it is. Hello, where's their capital? So their armies must be in that little area. Capital's in there, so we're going to want to rush the capital. Get right there. Yeah. And the truce is going to be up in February. All right. We're going to get tech five. Probably should have got that earlier. We're going to be two techs ahead of them. This is going to be a slaughter. Let's do it. So conquest or reconquest. Conquest will give me Buta. So, for four provinces, I've got 100% aggressive expansion. Reconquest will give me core return and conquest of two places. The Jirem and Jiud. I don't actually want that. Or Tribal Feud will give me a lot reduction. Basically, this only gives me reduction for cost and aggressive expansion for the return of two provinces. But Tribal Feud gives me 75% aggressive expansion for all of them. And considering I'm probably going to be taking a lot of provinces, I think we should probably take this one. Let's do it. Let's see where these suckers go. National epic. Yes, I love a good story. Thanks. Uh, income's not doing super great, so let's raise war taxes, because it's going to take at least a couple years to do the war. Here we go. Gotcha. Steps, and you're mine. Ah, you son of a bitch. 24th of April. You're gonna, you're gonna get around me. Fast. Ah, they're so fast.
No, stop it. Into Curlin. Come on, lads. Why are you that why are they so much faster than us? There we go, that catches them. I should wipe them out. Accumulate money. I have at least 68. Done. Yeah, that's no problem because look at the morale advantage with 3% discipline, 2 military tactics. Um, we are also fighting in our own terrain. Attacker receives 25% shock damage for Mutmats on flat terrain. Of course, he receives that as well. They all get 20 shock damage, but I have massive morale and mill tactics and loads more cavalry. And so that's a stack wipe. Well, I feel bad now. Now we're going to be careful because I really don't want to lose any unnecessary soldiers. It's obviously they're going to be raising troops as quickly as possible. There we go. Let's try and make sure these get taken as fast as possible so I don't have to deal with huge amounts. And I can start the siege of the capital as quickly as possible. Hey, look at that, we caught him. Easily done. Ah, we didn't catch him. Lame. Alright, no. Stop that. Stop that. Oh, bollocks. 30th of October, 10th of November. Damn it. Every time, I swear. Don't die. Hey, they survived. Gonna catch the rest of them. Gotta keep getting these sieges. That's what matters here. Push these guys out. And take this with, because their army is being rebuilt. I do not appreciate. There we go. And dead. What are they doing? Where are they going? Why are they going all the way south? Where are you going? Where are you going? That trip's going to finish on the 27th of March. Plenty of time. Stay here just in case. Oh, all good. Good stuff. They really don't know what they're doing, so... Yeah. Let's take a look at this peace deal, shall we? Let's take everything that's a claim and core of mine. Ow, no one gives a shit about this country. I could fully annex it. There we go, there's the limit. But not really, because again, it's only court. It's only court who cares. Marital bliss. Maybe. Reputation tarnished. Lose stability or 100 Diplo. Happily lose the Diplo. Thank you. Let's leave one cavalry to go reinforce the siege siege. And leave behind one of my infantry. That way we're a bit more balanced. And we're getting all the loot from that, which is fantastic. So we have seven months of loot there. Really have honestly no idea what they're thinking. But these provinces are definitely not going to be conquered by me, at least in this war. Because for quite frankly, it's a bit too much to handle. If I just took all of that, bar those three provinces, I think we'd have a uh, some serious value in our hands here. Oh, that would be good. Oh, wow. <laughs> I managed to rock the table I'm recording on. 
Whoops, Daisy. And on that note, I will end the episode. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Do be sure to leave a like, comment on the video. Let me know what you think of the series so far. We're conquering and expanding very, very well at this point. Um, I think I'm going to need to go into immediately after this war, go to Oirat, because I worry that Ming might try to take more territory. I don't think they can and will, but they could. But I'm concerned about that, and I'd like to maybe push the west. But Hexi is also a problem, but we'll see. Make sure, like I said, leave a like and comment, let me know what you think, and check out my Patreon if you want to support me further as well. I was Algernon Continue to Be, and this has been EU4, the Mongolians. Bye-bye.